among members of uh, this council. This truly was a collegial effort. Uh, and so the, uh, the budget uh, is not mine, it's theirs, uh, and I congratulate them uh, for that. What would you say was the, the biggest disappointment for you in terms of a motion that didn't carry this night? We know that the Toronto Professional Firefighters Association very disappointed in what they say will be, you know, um, higher response times, longer response times because of uh, the lack of trucks. They're only getting one truck out on the road. They're well, the, for five. well, that's two million dollars extra that we put into the fire budget. Uh, and the one thing that I stressed during the debate on that issue was that what counts is the, the improvement to fire safety in general. And we've, we've uh, made investments to make sure that that happens. The mayor calls this the worst budget since he's been mayor. What's your response to that? I think it's a good budget. I think that uh, this is a budget that not only delivered uh, lower numbers than the previous budget, but it's a budget that demonstrates how members of council can work together to create a budget that serves the varied interests of the city or of the residents of the city of Toronto. What about Mayor Rob Ford? He might come out and say that he would save an extra, what, $750,000 that wasn't there before, and potentially an extra $19 million if you factor in the Pan Am Haynes report. What do you have to say about his, at least four of his motions passing? Well, I think that um, <clears throat> um, before we came into this meeting, I indicated that I would listen carefully to all of the motions that he made, uh, and I voted for some of them. And so uh, I think that uh, what you have to do is look at the, um, the budget as a package, and I think it's a pretty darn good package. Can we count Pan Am as a saving or just a potential saving? It's a potential. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Deputy Mayor, your response to uh, the story of the So it looks like a... Yeah.